Hey, it's Matt back with 731 Woodworks. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some wall art out of a crappy old pallet. The crappy old pallet sound bad. <laughs> hey, it's Matt with 731 Woodworks. Today we're gonna to build wall art out of a pallet. This is just an old pallet. You can get them anywhere. We got these at the lumber store. That's right, they had them stacked up and we were able to give them away. They were giving away free. Uh, places like Atwoods, Walmart sometimes. If you'll just ask them, they'll just give them to you. So that's a good way to get some free cheap wood. So this is gonna be a little project. Uh, it's gonna be a wall art out of a pallet. Here you see me breaking down the pallet with a circular saw, I cut the ends off. I found that if I try to pry or uh, knock them off with a hammer, they bust really bad. So I am able to pry the middle ones off, but the ends really bust on me. So a circular saw makes that a lot easier. Just take those nails out, then I'm gonna take them over to the miter saw. Now I've got them stacked up there, just cutting them in bulk, and I'm just squaring the ends up, that's all I'm doing there. I'm gonna take a, a board and cut it short and stack it vertically on the uh, sign. This is the back of it. And I'm gonna cut three pieces the same length. And that way we can attach them to the back and that'll hold everything together nice. take those three boards and brad nail them on to each one. I'm going to put two brad nails per board all the way up, holding everything nice and tight while I do it. That way we got to, it's just going to keep this sign together. If you don't have brad nails, you can use uh, finished nails or any staples, anything that's long enough to go through those boards without poking through the other side. Now it's time for everyone's favorite sanding. So I'm just gonna give this a light sand. We wanted, or my wife wanted a very rustic look. So I'm just gonna knock the splinters off is all I'm doing. This is a 120 grit um, belt. So it's not being a, it's not an aggressive sandpaper. It's just enough to knock those splinters off. And you can actually see the sheen on the wood as I go. So this is where the artist comes in. My wife uh, is an amazing artist. She doesn't think so, but I think she's great. She hand drew these letters on with a pencil first, and then she went with the paint markers, Elmer's paint markers, we, and then Sharpie paint markers also. And she drew these on several, several coats, and then a black Elmer's paint marker does Hebrews 619. And once she gets all those to her liking, then I go in with this Armor Seal, General Finishes Armor Seal clear coat, you can see how much it really makes those letters pop and it brings out the natural beauty in that wood. And then I'm just gonna attach the anchor with some brad nails. Just uh, four brad nails is all it takes on this little thing. This project's almost complete. After the clear coat's dry, about an hour, we're gonna flip this over. I only done one coat of clear coat also on something like this. We're gonna use some D-ring picture hanging hardware. Just one screw. I'm just a guessing on uh, the location on each one. Just get them about the same because I'm going to use picture hanging wire attached to both of them. That way you can use one uh, nail and then just level it like that instead of having to use uh, two nails and try to get them exactly right. It's a lot easier just to use the wire. That way you can kind of self-level. So 
I'm just going to loop it through about three inches and then just twist it back on itself on this wire. It's not going to take a lot. This thing's not really heavy. Uh, you do what you feel comfortable with. And once I get both ends about the same amount of uh, twisting back to itself, I will uh, take a pair of pliers and just crimp, the, crimp it together just to give it a little extra security so it doesn't unravel. Finished product, beautiful piece of wall art. Hebrews 619, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. We've got our anchor. You can notice our 731 Woolworks has an anchor. I have a tattoo of an anchor. My wife has a tattoo similar to it of an anchor. So it's kind of our thing. We love this verse and we love this wall art. It's in our bedroom now. It looks beautiful in here. I love how the general finishes brought the natural wood out, that oil-based uh, oil and urethane, a clear coat. It, it also made this the letters pop. And I just think it's a beautiful piece of wall art. You can make it yourself. If you have somebody that's artistic and draw those on, let them do that. I couldn't do it. But if you don't, you can also buy stencils and you can stencil these letterings on. And this uh, anchor we bought at Walmart. You can get them on Amazon. I'll drop some links in the below of the stuff we've used. And um, if you want to buy those things, you can use those links. But this is just, it turned out perfect, I think. So it's a piece of pa a pallet that somebody was just going to throw away. It was going to the junkyard or burn pile, and we were able to take it. And with her artistic uh, ability, we could put this together and made a beautiful piece of art for the for the home. And we we like the rustic look, so we left it more rustic. You can sand this down more smooth. You can you know frame it up. I mean, there's a thousand things you can do with this, but this is the way we went with it. We think it turned out perfect.